In the eyes of her family, the Minnesota justice system isn't the only institution that failed Nadia Kajuji. Just after Minnesota nurse William Melkert Dinkel was sentenced to a mere 360 days in jail for encouraging Nadia and another British man to commit suicide, Nadia's family was lashing out at Carleton University and the Ottawa Police for their treatment of Nadia's case. Nadia's family still maintains the university should have done more to alert the parents about the depressed girl's deteriorating condition. After suffering a miscarriage, Nadia entered into counseling at the university and was prescribed a powerful antidepressant, Ciprolex, with known side effects that included an increased risk of suicidal behavior in adults less than 25 years with psychiatric conditions. Ottawa police took a statement from Nadia's counselor saying that the two of them discussed suicide openly. Nadia's older brother Mark Kajuji, who now works as an ambassador with the suicide prevention network Your Life Counts, thinks the university should have notified parents immediately, but citing privacy concerns, the university decided not to. The first contact the university had with Nadia's mother, Deborah Chevalier, came 24 hours after Nadia threw herself into the icy Rideau River on March 10, 2008. Mark Kajuji was willing to forgive Ottawa police, acknowledging that they were dealing with a very unique case. He wasn't so forgiving with the university. He's now trying to reach out to Carleton to work with them to prevent future tragedies, though he hasn't received a firm response from university administration. For Sun News, I'm Aidan Helmer.